again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 7th of February, 2019. One of my friends out of Pittsburgh sent me a rather interesting video. It's one hour, 23 minutes, and 30 seconds in duration. Um, you might want to invest that time. I did. And I learned a whole lot of pieces of the puzzle that I wasn't aware of, and this is in reference to the Las Vegas shooting on October the 1st, 2017. Problem is, how do you verify any of this, huh? But it certainly is interesting. One of the tidbits that I learned is that Stephen Paddock, the autopsy report, according to this video, stated that the bullet did not pass through his head. There was no exit wound. Now I want you to think about this. It was reported that he was shot through his teeth, which would indicate that he was shot face forward. In other words, somebody was right in front of him. For the bullet to have been lodged in his brain, he would have to have been shot this way. Don't know how that could have been shot through his teeth. And what caliber of weapon would not exit, create an exit wound? Well, probably a twenty-two, which seems to be the choice of assassins. Robert Kennedy was shot with a twenty-two from the back. Remember, Saran, Saran was in front of him, not behind him. But that's a different story. What else did I learn? Well, I learned a lot. According to this video, the windows were not broken out when the shootings took place. And the speculation is that the shootings were done by machine gun fire from helicopters. According to this video, police body cams show that the windows on those upper floors weren't broken when the shootings took place. They were broken after the shootings took place to make it appear as if though there were shootings that took place from that room. You can't make this stuff up, folks. I mean, you really can't make this stuff up. There's also a very strong Saudi connection to the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman. You know, if you watch some of my earlier videos, and I mean when I started making videos, I said everything revolves back to Saudi Arabia. And it does. I don't know, and you don't know, what really happened because they don't tell us the truth. I did videos and I talked about those two windows being around 55 feet apart. Each pane of glass is about four and a half feet in width. It makes no sense that someone will be running back and forth between those two rooms. The reality is they couldn't have even if they wanted to because the other room was locked from the inside. And a glove, a pair of gloves were found on the bed in the other room. Keep in mind, we also saw the food tray cart. It had settings for two, not for one. Again, folks, we only know what they tell us, and they only tell us what they want us to know, which sadly isn't the truth. Watch the clip. Let me know what you think. If you watch my previous videos on this topic, you sure as heck know what I think. This was another quote unquote operation. I wonder what name they gave to this operation. They have no difficulty killing and wounding 500 some odd people. They took down the Twin Towers. They don't care who they kill as long as they achieve their objective, which is to continue to fuel the industrial military complex. You don't want to hear it. Don't listen. 
If you do want to hear it, pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts. I can't do this alone, folks. I need you. And you all also need me, don't you?